they need. And then the bigger retailers are kind of slowed down by just all the red tape internally, the, then trying to get all these teams to to work together internally and legacy systems and things like that. So they just have their own separate challenges in making this happen. But we're definitely seeing a lot of improvement over the last couple of years, um, exponential improvement in, in Omnichannel for sure. So next next topic, certainly um, one thing top of mind for everybody these days and certainly for retailers, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to come up a, a few times uh, at, the, at the show coming up here, but you know, no conversation would be complete without bringing AI into things, right? So it is, you know, 2023, it was like the obligatory topic. And I think still bleeding into 2024, we're, we're still there. So, you know, like I said, we're probably going to hear plenty about it um, at the at the show. But it's been a, a whirlwind year for retailers trying to make sense of where and how to use AI meaningfully in their marketing and other areas of the business. Where do you see maybe one or two areas where you think AI has shown the greatest immediate impact in the last year? Yeah, I can definitely jump in here. I think where I'm personally excited about AI in the world of retail is thinking a little bit more about that backend optimization piece. It obviously, you know, it has its customer facing applications as well, but I'm a big fan of efficiency. So really anything having to do with sort of that efficiency play. And and I think two areas where that's really being seen in retail are on the search marketing SEO side and a little bit more on the inventory